Dozens of Kansas Cityans gathered to reflect and mourn these most recent cases as well as the many others over the years. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar went to Swope Park for tonight's vigil. More than 100 Kansas Cityans lit candles tonight, hoping to shed a light on the collective trauma of the black community. In everything that we do as black and brown people, we have to watch our backs. They gathered to honor the lives of black men and women killed by police, like 20-year-old father Dante Wright, killed during a traffic stop in Minnesota earlier this month. Dante's story reminded me of my father's, who died last year after being shot in a gas station parking lot. Grief and mourning were on full display as people came to the mic and described what it feels like to be a black person in America. I have four brothers. So I'm pretty much terrified every day. Every time an unarmed black person is shot by a police officer, it affects more than just the person's family and friends. It's really hard to to go throughout your day as if nothing is wrong, right? As if everything is okay. You know, and I'm I'm sitting in class with my my white classmates, you know, and it's almost as if we're in two different worlds. This event was about honoring lives lost. So you say but also a call to action to keep speaking out against injustice and racism. Keep on marching, keep on protesting, keep on demonstrating, keep on litigating, keep on lifting our voices for power to the people. In Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.